I don't know why they filmed this on a square, but the, the frame just looks so ugly and weird to me. Anyways, I'm going to talk about uh, why scooters, I think, are actually going to overtake skateboarding one day. <laughs> that is terrible, dude. That is one of the gnarliest falls, man. And that, what a sick way to start out a part, by the way. Like, you see that, and you're like, oh, it's about to get buck in here, you know. But this is Brian Noyes. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that. Alpha Omega Scooters. If you've never seen scooter stuff, definitely check out Alpha Omega. They got the hardest stuff. Point blank. Like, nobody's putting out content like Alpha Omega as far as scooters go. But yeah, they, they honestly, scooter... They go nutty, dude. Like, it's not those dudes at the park that you see, those little children. These guys get crazy. You saw that power slide. I mean, that's nuts. But I, I think the reason that this is going to take over skateboarding one day is um, the price is... They're typically a little more than skateboards, but not a ton. So, like, a kid could get, you know, like an Amazon scooter for 90 bucks, and it'll, it'll do all right. Maybe you can get a cheap skateboard for 90 But, uh, you know, a nice scooter, I mean, it could run you $1,000. But I got my scooter for about 250 And that's not super entry-level price, but it can be done. Sick, dude. The manuals are nuts. But I, I think... So the price point is somewhat similar to skateboarding. I know they're more expensive, but they're close. Look at that sick, man. That's sick. But then I think the part that's really going to take them over is it's, it's easy to do. <laughs> Before I offend anybody, um, what they're doing is not easy. But as far as like basic tricks go, and if you saw my BMX video, I was talking about how BMX just isn't going to get that popular because it's so freaking hard to do. And, you, you know, the average person cannot do that many tricks. If you pick up a scooter from scratch, you can bunny hop that day. So, instantly, you have one trick you can do. You know, if you're really adamant about it, within a year, you can have bar spins, whips, maybe some manuals, 180s. Maybe some grinds, too. So, it's one of those things where it's somewhere in between skateboarding you have so many tricks you can do. Scooter is a little more limited. BMX is definitely the most limited. Look at that, man. Oh, man, a fight? What the heck? These scooter guys are crazy. <laughs> Video's nuts, though. I, that's another thing. I didn't expect people to be, like, going off of buildings, like, going nuts. Hold up, dude. That is a sick spot. I need to see... I gotta see Milton Martinez hit that dude. I know he could 50 that. That's a six spot. Ooh, land of the bar spin one handed. What I don't like about scooter videos is some of them just get like spammy. That's not a that's not the worst case scenario when you're going off of something like that. Wow. But yeah, I watched some park footage of a scooter and it's just like in the air. Like you don't even know what he just did. I mean, it looked hard, but I don't know. I don't want to see like quadruple inward whips. I just like street smooth stuff, you know. Okay, yeah, that part's nuts, dude. It's not over? What? Okay, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. The manuals trip me out. I can manual on a board all day. I cannot manual on a scooter worth the crap. Not even one foot. I mean, one foot's easier. But the the two foot one, man? Man, that's sick. What Another thing about scooters that I think people find interesting, you can pop out of a grind so easy. So escape, skate stuff. It, I mean, popping out of a grind is like really hard skating. And BMXing you can pop out okay, but the bike's heavy. 
but scooters you can just hop right out of stuff so you know you'll see somebody do like a board slide just like go back and forth like lip slide board slide lip slide board slide type of thing that's sick the w one bad thing about scooters is they're not they're not too easily transportable they're kind of a pain to even put in your car What is he going in? Ooh. So that was nuts just seeing a board slide without something out. That's rare in a scooter video. Truck driver. Man, that is massive. I'm scared I'd eat the bar. I don't know how these dudes aren't eating the bar like every single trick. See, that's the type of rail I don't know if you could hit on a skateboard. I almost feel like more stuff is accessible on a scooter. I'm sure you could pop pretty high. I wonder who pops higher, scooter guy or bike? Probably a bike. Or Tyshawn Jones <laughs> on a skateboard. Man, land of fakies nuts. Fakie on a scooter is easier than a bike, that's for sure. Does he not have pegs? I don't think he has pegs. Anyways, I'm skipping a little bit. See what the ender is. Oh my gosh. The jaws of scooters. Yo, no, dude. That looks like a Florida spot right there. Oh my gosh, dude, that is gnar. How does he not eat his bars? Yeah, he's leaving in front of the car. Screw that car. <laughs> I want to see if that car stopped. Yeah, it looks like they stopped. Yeah, sick part, man. And I think scooters are, are one day going to overtake skateboarding. It's just my opinion. 